why you don't play video games anymore. Video games get a really crappy rap. I mean, I think they always sort of have. Uh, I thought these things would change when I got older, when my generation, the millennial, got older. But no, they haven't changed at all. I just ser tried searching, I can't motivate myself to play video games, and one of the top results is this guy, and he's got a picture of a brain decaying, and he says, this is why I'll never play video games after I learn this. I don't know this guy. I'm sure he's an excellent YouTuber, he's probably better at me than life, but that, that's just a hot take I'm not willing to accept. Decaying your brain? It's art, right? But hot takes like that are not the point. I'm sure some people struggle with video game addiction. I kind of struggle with the opposite. Struggling to motivate myself to do anything. At all. Even play video games. Which I love. When I'm lazy, I usually just binge watch YouTube, which I do a lot. But here's my hot take. Just like some movies are hard to watch. Yeah, I fell asleep watching Citizen Kane all well, three times. Some books are hard to read. Games are hard to get through sometimes. There are some people these days that have trouble sitting through a TV show without getting distracted. I go to the movies, and people can't help check their phones. And they're in a screening, opening night, in a packed theater. At first, these kinds of people would get me angry. Actually, they still get me angry. But eventually, I, I felt bad for them as well. People can't help but not be able to get through a piece of art they care about. They can't focus. They can't... <clears throat> they can't focus. They can't motivate my, themselves. They can't pay attention to a movie opening night, never mind start any kind of book. There's a problem here. I have had trouble getting motivated to do a YouTube video for years. Just look at my channel, it's a mishmash mess. But even I've had trouble just playing a video game to completion. You could watch me get so frustrated with games and just giving up on Twitch. The last game I beat with my friends was luckily thanks to Chatters on Twitch and my friends being there, and we finished what I would consider a musical masterpiece, RPG, Undertale. Right after that, you can see us try and play God of War 4. You can literally watch us play the game, we get stuck once, and we give up. No, I give up. I give up. My friends probably would have stuck it through, because, you know, they can, like, enjoy themselves. One of the main reasons I started Twitch was just to motivate myself to finish a game. Just to play games at all. I figured if people are watching me, like, then I should be, that'll motivate me to play games, right? But I feel like this compulsion is just gave in to just give up and change games. I'm not, I'm just not feeling it. Just like me waiting until I feel like it to make one of these YouTube videos. I, I think the problem is twofold. And one of the components is our attention span. Which in modern times is fragmented as they say. I recommend listening to Dr. Anna Lemke's Dopamine Nation. Uh, she was featured in uh, the documentary The Social Dilemma. Um, I listened to her book on Audible which uh, doesn't sponsor us yet. But that'd be pretty cool. You can check it out. I'll put it a link in the description or something. Um, her take on this uh, and, you know, how she explains the neuroscience behind this and what's the psychological, the chemical problem that's happening here. But I want to talk about the other piece of that fold. I want to talk about the modern philosophical problem of just not feeling it. I was doping around YouTube and going through Navy SEAL Jocko Willink's videos since one of my resolutions was to take full responsibility for everything that happens in my life. <laughs> I 
One of the things, however stupid it sounds, is that I want to beat all the video games in my Steam library. And the games I own. Before buying any new games anymore. I just want to take responsibility for the fact I complain about not ever making time to play games and never actually play them and never mind finish them. So, you know, I was looking around YouTube. I come across this video of Jocko and his producer co-host Echo Charles talking about what Echo has learned from Jocko over the years. They talk about how all these amazing lessons that can be found uh, in Jocko's book, Discipline Equals Freedom. But one of the things that really stuck out to me is how they talk about this one idea, which is that Echo never has the feeling of just not feeling it. Actually, he does have that feeling, but he just does it anyway. That's one of the things he learned from Jocko, is you just do things, and it's amazing the amount of things he accomplished. And then Jocko says to him, it's amazing to watch someone achieve their potential. Basically, the idea is just forget not feeling it. Do it anyways. One of the biggest problems of our time is that when things have gotten so convenient, we can only do things when we feel it. We're feeling it. I'm feeling it. Blink-182 said, I'm feeling it. It's one of the biggest problems I have. I don't even know if it was a problem before. I don't know. I have that problem. I only do things when I feel like it. What kind of mentality is that? I'm old enough. In the original video, video version of this, I was going to point to my gray hair, which I have a lot of. Uh, to show how old I am, to show this mentality gets you nowhere. Yes, playing games takes grit. It takes work. It's just work we like. Anything entertaining and rewarding is work. I actually have a lot of respect for people. I mean, when they say they've beaten the game, watched an entire TV show, read a book. It's just so much easier these days just to open up your phone and scroll instead and not finish any of those things. Uh, life takes grit. Games take grit, works takes grit. But why does work deserve the only grit you give in life? We all feel like we should work all day. And once work is over, grit's over. It's time to relax. How is that remotely fair to you or anything remotely worth living for? Once work is over, your phone gets to be the master of your night until you sleep. If you can't sleep for staring at it so long, don't we deserve to reward ourselves by giving ourselves grit after work? There's this whole TED talk, and I'm, I hope, I really hope I'm not misrepresenting it. They talk about grit, which is a really interesting idea, and I really like the talk, but I'm pretty sure they talk about it in reference to how it determines how well students are going to do and how they're going to perform. But honestly, I could give a flip about be it a better student or how everybody needs to be a better student or anything like that. The whole world will encourage you to be a better student. I have been going to school and struggled to go to school and get through school for 17 years. Then I entered the workforce and I gave that my all too. Also at night, uh, I wouldn't have the energy to play games. I love video games. They are an incredibly powerful medium and have the capability like any other art form be it books, animation, film, TV, YouTube videos, or comic books to help us cope with the deeper human experience through some beautiful experiences. And no, I don't think Undertale, Okami, Shadow of the Colossus, Eco, Eco did this to me, you know, did this thing where, you know, the, the guy I mentioned earlier, uh, um, look look what video games do to your brain and he has his brain that's like like melting or something um, and that's why he doesn't play video games huh? well okay um, I don't think those games melted my brain I think that they offered me something really nice and really rich experiences and they helped me connect with all the people and the artists involved in creating that game um, 
and they helped me connect with them and experience something that they wanted to, uh, to communicate to me. And uh, that's pretty amazing. Games are work we enjoy. Let's just not let our phones, school, work, or people take that away from ourselves. Let's do ourselves a favor and apply that same effort we used to get through the day to do the things we actually want to do in our life. And yes, for some of us, that's play video games. By the by, uh, what's down there? Just the underworld's deepest dungeon. <laughs> this time I'm bringing out the mother of all bad guys. You don't say. Well, maybe I should go. Chase, here's the deal I'm gonna offer you. I let you out of the slammer. No strings, you'll be free as a bird. And all for one little job. Fight Hercules in the Colosseum to the death! This is my story, and you're not part of it. Did you forget who you're talking to?! I am the Lord of the Dead! Huh. No wonder no one wants to die. <laughs>